Hi, uh, everybody. I'm uh, Brian Holmes. I'm a software engineer at Real Data on the applications team. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what we're building at Real Data uh, on top of DuckDB. Uh, Real, we provide an open source tool uh, that enables developers to profile data sets, uh, design data models, and deploy custom and pre-built dashboards uh, to Real Cloud. Our, our mission, really our, our guiding principle, is to let uh, developers and data engineers go from a data lake to a dashboard in just a few minutes. And once deployed, you can uh, create metrics-based alerts, you can enable scheduled reports, and you can share sort of limited and full views of those dashboards uh, with people. Uh, and so what makes Real different? Because there's tons of BI tools uh, out there. Uh, you'll see that DuckDB plays a large part in what makes us different. First of all, we're, we're really fast. Uh, we co-locate data and compute so that queries run instantly. Uh, we embrace BI as code so that developers can use familiar tool sets. Uh, we embrace SQL. Uh, and our core premise is that you design your metrics and your data model and, and let us handle uh, the sort of fun side of things of uh, building these dashboards and providing the visualizations for you. Uh, the architecture that enables that is, is really pretty straightforward. Uh, we have that kind of last mile uh, ETL where you can use a variety of different data sources uh, to get your data uh, into our platform. And then on the far end, we have our operational BI side of things. That's the dashboards and all the code artifacts that you use to configure and manage these dashboards. But it's this middle part, our in-memory database, uh, that really enables all of this. And that's where we use DuckDB as our embedded OLAP engine. And so in our UI, here's what this, these elements of the architecture look like. You can see all the sources that we provide, including some of our friends who are here. Um, then you have an ability to uh, model that data in SQL in the application. Uh, and then finally, uh, manage the code artifacts uh, so that you can define those measures uh, and dimensions in the dashboard. Uh, so why we chose DuckDB, uh, or at least from the applications team, uh, right, we're really focused on um, what happens when we reduce that obfuscation layer between you and your data and what sort of interactions uh, that that uh, enables. And so the speed and simplicity, the ability to embed DuckDB, this really lightweight model into our binary was, was critical uh, for us. And those needs really extend beyond uh, the dashboard as well. Uh, when you are modeling data, we provide you know, exploratory data analysis on a keystroke by keystroke basis um, as you uh, type out. So we're providing uh, distribution, nullity, cardinality, uh, really important kind of glanceable overviews um, so that you can explore not only in the modeling, uh, but in the dashboard as well. And so I'll do a, a little demo actually of our, our dashboard here. Uh, and what I have is uh, the sort of 311 data set uh, that I think people are pretty familiar with here. Um, and so we can, you know, take a look at all time or quickly move to different places like uh, year to date. Uh, and we can really quickly zoom in to different segments of this, uh, change uh, our, our granularity. And this is all, you know, empowered by uh, the speed of queries with DuckDB. So we can filter here, we'll change back to, to year to date. And we'll filter here by description. And we can actually explode those time series charts out uh, by um, those, those dimensional breakdowns. And really the sort of uh, animations and transitions that we provide are really reliant on the fact that these, these queries are you know, sub-second queries, 100 millisecond queries. Take some more detail here. Uh, we can go in and sort of blow up this chart and see that we provide, not just for the dimensions we're looking at, but for all dimensions, those kind of glanceable spark line trends. And we think providing this for people as uh, sort of like this frictionless approach uh, to data analysis means that you can really have a, a keen sense of understanding and intuition about your data. And so for people that want to take that, that next step, we have, uh, you know, pivot tables built on that where you can, uh, you know, explore data in even um, more, more granular approaches here. We can, so we can break this out uh, by zip code. Uh, we can add, you know, let's see. We could add status type uh, to our rows. So we've got really quickly, we went from this sort of overview approach, this glanceable information to this multi-dimensional uh, pivot table. Uh, we can even turn on, you know, comparisons here. So now we have period over period comparisons uh, within this, this table. And all of this really would not be possible, at least in the interactive layer that we're looking for on the applications team uh, without DuckDB. Uh, and that's it for, for us here, that's real. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking us out, please head to realdata.com or you can get started with your own data sets, which we recommend uh, using that curl command. And uh, that's it for me.
Are there any immediate questions? Yes, back there. I shall run. Can you raise your hand again? I can't see you. You. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you mentioned there's a, a scheduled report or something like that. Would you demo that? I wouldn't be able to demo that at the moment. That would, that's on our cloud platform. Um, I absolutely recommend heading to, to realdata.com for that. But yeah, you can absolutely export uh, these pivot reports um, or various other things from our dashboards uh, through that process. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe one more question. Yeah, you, you seem very motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just curious. It looks really, really cool. How do you... Um, how does how, how does the user define metrics and dimensions like so that because they may be joining other tables so how do you make it easily combinable and flexible? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can pull over my VS Code here. Uh, so I'll show you what that code artifact looks like really quickly. Sorry, the light is uh, right in my face. So this is what a, a dashboard looks like, and so you know measures. You can see that we support SQL expressions. Uh, within there. So part of it's going to be on the data modeling side, right, where you can maybe join different tables uh, together. That would be in your in your modeling here. Uh, as an example, here's one that joins various different sources into a single model. But then you can also use SQL statements uh, in this code artifact to define those dimensions. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. I'm happy to talk in greater detail about it with you afterwards. Just grab Brian in the after. Thanks a lot. Let's thank him again.